Hi everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we are going to learn how to handle JavaScript pop-ups or alerts in any web page. Now, whenever you are doing the application testing, many scenarios will be there wherein there'll be JavaScript pop-ups and you need to understand how to handle those pop-ups or alerts. Okay, so in Selenium library, there is a built in method to handle those alerts and pop ups. We will understand how quickly and easily you can handle those alerts. Okay, so it's not difficult at all. Very simple. You just need to un understand the process and the methods that you need to use to handle those sort of alerts. So to demo it, I'll go to the website uh, W3Schools. They have these JavaScript pop up boxes, different scenarios, but I'll take this one wherein uh, it, they say that you have to, you know, either accept or cancel, or you can also send the text in the JavaScript pop-up. So if I click on this try it yourself link here, and if I click on this JavaScript, this try it, you will see that it has the OK and cancel, right? So if I press, press OK, it will say pre you pressed OK. If I'll say cancel, then you will say it will, you know, display message canceled. So these, these pop-ups are JavaScript pop-ups and not all pop-ups are JavaScript pop-ups. So these pop-ups you cannot identify just by, you know, like browser identification or web elements that you identify usually in Selenium web driver by right clicking and inspecting the code. These are different. So that is why there is a different class available in Selenium to handle the pop-ups okay so this is one of it wherein you have cancel and okay there are others so where you have the prompt box as well so if I click on this one let me close this one and in this one you will see that you have prompt box wherein you can enter a different name right so for example I can enter RCV Academy here okay and if I'll click okay it will print that particular message here right so it is not necessary that you'll have these sort of pop-ups but it might be required or depending on what sort of implementation is there you might get these pop-ups and you you might have to handle either you have to click on cancel or click on OK or enter the text there and then click OK or cancel accordingly. So in this tutorial, we'll understand how you can click on cancel, how you can click on OK, how you can send keys here. OK, so we'll understand all of these. So let me cancel this quickly copy this link here. And before that, let me create a file. So I'll use any of the old code so that we don't have to write everything again. And I will create a new Python file and I name it as demo js alerts okay and paste everything here just leave this much here okay and paste the link which we need to open okay so we'll open this particular link right okay so now what this will do is so let me change this class as well and i'll say demo demo js pop-up or alerts or whatever and then here we'll say demo alerts okay js alerts right so these two lines are pretty common that we have been understanding in the previous series the whole series itself so i won't go into the details for these now we are opening this particular url in the browser now we have already understood in the previous tutorial how to switch to frames so now if we closely look this particular section here is a different frame so first thing we have to do is we have to switch to this frame before we can click on this try it because if we want to handle these OK and cancel, we'll click on this try it button and then we have to understand how we can click on OK and cancel. OK, so let me right click and inspect this section here. And if we notice clearly, this is an iframe. If I hover over, so this whole section is highlighted there. If you see there in the blue and it has ID iframe result and the name iframe result. Right. So I can use either ID or name. So let me copy the name and we'll switch to this frame first before we click on this try it button. So we'll simply say driver dot switch to dot frame. And if you haven't understood about this switch to frame, I have covered this in detail in the previous tutorial. Go ahead and watch it to understand how you can switch between the frames. So we'll switch to the frame and we'll provide the name of the frame. OK, so this is the name of the frame and this should switch to this particular frame. So the control will be now in this particular frame. And now I can inspect this particular try it button and click on this, right? So let me copy uh, open selectors hub and copy the X path quickly, right? So this is highlighted. So this is relative X path. We'll copy that and we'll click on this. So we'll say driver dot find element and by we have copied X path and we'll paste the X path there. All right. And we have to click on this button, right? So only after clicking, 
the JavaScript alert will appear. Okay, so we have to import the by class. If you see this red, red error, just hover over and import this by class. All right, now we are ready. So let me minimize. So now we are ready on this particular page. So this will click on this try it button and this pop up message will appear. So now how to handle this OK and cancel or how to send the text? That's what we are going to learn. So the next step is to basically understand what are the methods that are available to handle these JavaScript alerts. Right. So after clicking this, let me put some sleep so that we can see and it's not too fast. So let me put a two second sleep there. Right. And these weights are I'm hard coding just to give you understanding of this whole thing. This is not the standard practice. When we'll go to the framework section, we'll see how you can handle these weights with different weight that are available in the Selenium web driver. OK, so you don't have to hard code, never ever hard code the weights in the code okay so there are better better ways to handle this so now the next thing is we simply have to so we have as we have seen this we, ha we have switched to method basically to switch to the frame similarly we have we can switch to so if you say switch to and then if you say dot you will see that we have we can switch to window then we have switch to alert, uh, switch to frame and then we can switch to alert as well okay so this is the only thing that you are required to handle alerts in selenium web driver with python so we can switch to the alert all right and then if you say dot you can simply either accept it so you have this accept dismiss or send keys so to accept an alert which is equivalent to clicking on ok you simply say accept right so what this will do is it will this line will click on the try it button alert will appear and this line will accept the alert so it will it's equivalent to clicking on the ok button on the alert okay so it will do it will click on the ok button if you say dismiss it will click on the cancel if you send keys then it will print something here okay and let's understand everything here let me quickly put everything there and after each operation i'll put some sleep so that we can think see things clearly now this is accepting the alert let me copy it quickly and i will comment this out as well so accept alert so you can see what exactly that particular piece of code is doing dismiss alert and i'll update this code to dismiss the alert and then send text in alert okay so to dismiss the alert when we click on this try it button if you want to dis dismiss the only change is to change it to dot dismiss right and this will dismiss the alert so it will it's equivalent to clicking on the cancel now if you want to send the keys or send some value let me copy the same thing here and if you want to send certain values there then we'll simply say switch to alert and then dot send keys right so there is a send keys method and if i want to send the keys there so i'll say whatever values that I'm trying to send or CV Academy, so for example, then this particular text will be typed into this particular text box. And then we want to click on OK or cancel, right? So let's click on OK. So we are basically saying we want to accept. So after sending the, the keys, I will accept. So I'll again say driver dot switch to. So we'll say driver dot switch to alert and then accept. So the first line is saying send the keys this and then click on OK, right? And then again, two seconds sleep there. And that's pretty much it, right? So this is how you will handle the alert. So basically accepting the alert. So this one is this section will accept the alert. So this is the only line that you need to basically understand. So switch to then alert So where you want to switch to. I want to switch to alert and then accept it. I want to switch to alert and dismiss it or I want to switch to alert and send keys there, etc. Right. So there are many more options available and I'll go through the documentation uh, so that you can go through and practice it a lot. Right. But these are the common scenarios that you will encounter. And that is why I'm covering these in detail. So now let's try to run this particular code. So I'll create an object of this particular demo JS pop up class and to create an object. Let me create a variable. So I'll say demo D pop up just a dummy variable, um, the name there. And then I'll call the method. So D pop up dot demo JSL. So now let's try to execute this. And before executing, let me also maximize this window. So I'll say driver dot maximize window and this will maximize the page. So let's go ahead and understand the accept alert first. So let me comment out these two sections and run this code. It should open browser, maximize the page and then click on try it and accept this particular error. So you can see it has accepted the alert. Now let's see the dismiss part and I'll comment 
print this out and dismiss the alert so uncomment the dismiss code and it should dismiss the alert this time and you can see it has dismissed the alert and let's now see how you can send the keys or send the values into the alert so let me uncomment this third section here and comment rest of the code and run the code so opening the browser maximize the page and it should print hello rcv academy how are you today right so this line here has sent the keys rcv academy and then this line here has accepted the alert so it has printed that particular text on the screen all right so this is a brief introduction how you will handle the alert in selenium web driver now if you go ahead and try to explore say for example simply say driver dot switch to alert and then say dot you'll see that you have you know this we have understood about send keys dismiss accept and then we have this text as well right so if i want to say uh, get the text what is displayed on the alert so i can get that as well so say for example here let me get the text and i can print that text so whatever text is being displayed i can directly print on the console so let's try to do that and run it so whatever text say for example you want to verify that it is displaying the correct text there then it should basically give you okay so there is some error so no such alert no alert present okay why is that error so let's see all right okay here i've added another line so i haven't removed it so that's why so i've removed it now let me run it and this time it should print the text that is displayed on the alert and close right so you can see that it has displayed please enter your name here so that is the basic text that is displayed on that particular error right uh, on the alert so if we see this is the text that is being displayed on the alert so many times you might be required that verify that the alert is displaying this particular text so this might be one of your test case and this is how you will verify now you can also go through the documentation that's highly recommended so web driver api and here if you just find out alerts right and this is the alert implementation right so this is another way basically you can uh, you know have the alert object being created so basically alert class is there so you create an object of the alert class and pass the argument the driver argument there and then you can use it in this way as well so you can say alert driver dot accept or dismiss that's another way this is another way that i have covered and this is more consistent with switching to the windows and to the frames right so that is why this is easier to remember but you can also do something like create an object of the alert class and pass the driver reference there right and then you can say dot accept okay and then you have to if you are doing this then you have to basically import this alert class right so it will do exactly same thing this line will do exactly same thing as this particular line okay so if i just simply replace this particular line with this line there won't be any difference in the execution okay and these are the small things that you need to basically explore and learn and that's how you will build your confidence in the automation so you will see that it will perform exactly the same thing as we have seen in the previous case right so this is the another way that you can use okay the other thing is accept dismiss send keys and text right so we have covered all of these in this particular alerts section so go through read read this out practice a lot because the more you practice the more confident you will become in the automation all right so that's all about how to handle alerts in selenium web driver with python i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching